If you edit videos, there's one common task that you're probably familiar with, and that's chopping up the background music so it fits the duration of your project. Now, personally, I enjoy doing this process manually, but I'm always down to learn a different workflow. So, in this video, I wanna show you one method that automatically takes your background music and loops it to whatever duration you want to using Adobe Audition's Remix tool. It analyzes your song files, identifying hundreds of loops, transitions, and important segments, and then allows you to quickly remix to any duration. For this tutorial, I wanted to experiment with different kinds of songs. Right here, I've downloaded a couple from Artlist.io. It's a royalty-free music and sound effects website for video creators. This video is not sponsored by them, but I do use this service a lot. And if you wanna check them out, I'll have a link to it in my description below. And if you subscribe using that link, they'll throw in two extra months, which is pretty cool. There are many ways that you can get the track from Premiere Pro to Audition. Number one is right click inside the project bin, edit in Adobe Audition, clip, maybe your music is already down on the timeline. It's the same process. Right click the clip, edit clip in Adobe Audition. Now you may not even have anything within Premiere Pro. In that case, you could just open up Audition, drag the clip directly from the finder. However you do it, you just need to get it into Audition. If you double click your track in your files bin, it brings up the clip in the waveform editor. But in order to utilize the remix tool, we need to edit our clip using the multi-track editor. To do that, you can go to view, multi-track, or right here is the multi-track icon. We'll be prompted to create a new session. We can name it. We can set up the location of that project. You can set up the sampling and bitrate of the project if you know what they are from the source files beforehand. But just to show you, if you're unfamiliar with what those settings are or what they even do, don't worry. Audition is a very robust program. So as you can see, when I click and drag this song onto the timeline, even though my sampling rate is a mismatch, it's going to create a copy so the file does conform to my Adobe Audition session. So before I remix this, let me showcase to you for this particular song how there's a bunch of different sections to it. Right here, there's an introduction, and then we add a melody. Next, we change the supporting rhythm of the harmony, and then we have another switch in melody and the depth of how many instruments there are. We have this short solo section. Then it goes back into this more chaotic section that just slaps in my opinion. And from this point onward, the song has already introduced each melody, harmony, and texture. It's just for the remainder of the song, it gives you variations of those. So now that you have a general idea of what we're starting with, let's remix it. With the clip highlighted, you can go up to clip, remix, enable remix, or you can just right click on the clip, go to remix, Enable Remix. After it's done analyzing, we'll see these little squiggly lines in the top corners of the clip, and that indicates that Remix is enabled. You'll also see within the properties bin of the clip, we now have options under the Remix tab. The original length of the song is past the three minute mark, and let's say we wanna create a one minute version of the song. So I can type that into the target duration, hit enter, and boom, we have a remixed version of this song that's one minute. Now let me undo this, and another way that you could set the duration is by clicking and dragging the squiggly lines on the corners to your desired location. So before I play this, I want you to notice that the duration of the remix is actually different from what I typed into the target duration. And this is because we have a plus or minus five second variance set up to give us the best sounding transitions in the cut. These squiggly lines on the clip indicates where Audition has placed their transitions in order to create this one minute cut. So let's listen to how it did. wasn't too bad. Let's go to this second transition right here. That was pretty good. <laughs> that, that, see, this transition was really great. Now there are some other parameters that we can look at here. Inside the advanced tab, you can stretch it to exactly what you want your target to be, which will make it sound a little bit more artificial. So if you can avoid this stretch it to the exact duration, I would unclick that. We have edit length. And if I take this all the way down to short, you'll see what it does. Now we have many more edits throughout the piece. That's something that's probably not as good, but you can always 
move your slider to wherever you want to to make it sound better. Instead of a one minute duration, let's say I wanted to make this 10 minutes long. That was a very good transition. And I'm assuming for each one of these cuts, it's kind of doing that same transition. And this is where the edit length kind of comes into play. Obviously I want a much longer cut. So if I go long right here on the edit length, it makes more sense. If I switch this over to short, it's just getting crazy. And for the feature slider, it focuses on the timbre and harmonic characteristics of the sound when searching for the optimal transition points. If you get what that means, great. But like with most things within the Adobe universe, it's always best if you just start moving sliders and seeing exactly how that affects your material. the transitions before were better. And I'm assuming with timbre, these are more of a percussive type of transition. So it works in this particular song to go more towards the timbre, but I'll restore this back to 50. So it's right in the middle. For the minimum loop, this is pretty self-explanatory. It will require the loop segments to be a minimum of X amount of beats. So right now I have eight beats, but I believe this can go all the way up to 64. It looks like we have about the same transition, so I'm not even gonna play that. What happens if I hit minimum one? Same thing. And the minimum slack is where you would change this variance up here. So right now we're at plus or minus five seconds, but this can go up to a variance of 30 seconds. That one sounds about the same. Yeah, that transition always has kind of sounded good. But notice that now we're going up beyond the one minute mark by <laughs> almost 30 seconds right here. Now, instead of working with this same song, you might ask yourself, well, how does something with lyrics sound? For this example, I have a song with lyrics. Down here is the original cut, and it's three minutes and 22 seconds long, and then I've remixed it down to this shorter version. Let me mute this, and the surprising thing is right here, it's created three separate edits, and it's held the integrity of the chorus with those edits. Let me show you what I mean. That's crazy that it was able to keep those lyrics the same and create those edits for this much shorter version of the song. After throwing a couple other genres at Adobe Audition and utilizing this feature, I have to say overall, I am super impressed with the capabilities of what this can do. The ones where I'm finding really good results is if you throw this into Adobe Audition and you make a very long cut. So right here, I have an example of that. Down below, this is the original song and on top, I've remixed this out to about 10 minutes. So it added the transition near the end of the song and then repeated it from basically the beginning of the song. And this is where this process really shines in terms of workflow. If you need to keep looping or repeating a song for a very long period of time, utilizing this remix feature within Adobe Audition is a great asset to add to your toolkit as a video editor. Once you're done with these edits and you wanna get this back into Premiere Pro, one way is to right click the clip go to export mix down and selected clips because you're probably only working with one clip. Figure out where you want the export to go and hit okay. Here's that file and it's the same as what you would do with any kind of footage. You could just drag that straight into the bin and there is my 10 minute clip that I created. Another way that you could get it over to Premiere Pro is file, export, export to Adobe Premiere Pro. You could export each track as a stem or you could just mix down the whole session to a stereo, mono, or 5.1 file. Right here, I'm gonna do export each track as a stem, hit export, and you could send these tracks to new audio tracks or if you already have 
track set up for that music to come into, you could do that. So I'm gonna hit music one because I already have my music track set up. So I'll hit that, hit okay. And down here are the two tracks. This track is completely blank because inside Audition, I had this one muted, which it should be. And then this is the same wave file that we were just looking at where it's the extended remixed version of that song. Now that we've discussed how you can automatically remix the duration of your background music in your videos, you could hit that like button if this was helpful. And if you wanna learn how to cut to the beat of that music within Premiere Pro, I just made a video about it right here. All right, until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance.